Welcome top news today. Washington US President Donald Trump warned Kim Jong-un Tuesday, January 2nd he has a much bigger nuclear button than the North Korean leader, as Washington dismissed the prospect of high-level talks between Pyongyang and Seoul. Trump launched the highly personal missive on Twitter hours after his ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley described proposed dialogue between the two Koreas as a band-aid and said Washington would never accept a nuclear-armed Pyongyang. Trump said North Korean leader Kim Jong-un just stated that the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a nuclear button, but it is a much bigger more powerful one than his, and my button works Trump's message came after Kim used his annual New Year address to warn he has a nuclear button on his table, but sweetened his remarks by expressing an interest in dialogue and taking part in the Pyeongchang Games next month. South Korea responded positively to Kim's overture, proposing January 9 as a date for rare high-level talks aimed at easing tensions on the Korean peninsula. But the U.S. questioned whether talks could be taken seriously. North Korea has rattled the international community in recent months with multiple missile launches and its sixth and most powerful nuclear test purportedly of a hydrogen bomb. It has shrugged off a raft of new sanctions and heightened rhetoric from Washington as it drives forward with its weapons program, which it says is for defense against U.S. aggression. Pyongyang claims it needs nuclear weapons to protect itself from a hostile Washington and has striven to create a warhead capable of targeting the U.S. mainland with an atomic warhead. Personal insults earlier, South Korea's President Moon Jae-in welcomed Kim's comments as a positive response to Seoul's hopes that the Pyeongchang Olympics would be a groundbreaking opportunity for peace. The South Unification Minister Cho myung told a press conference Tuesday that Seoul was reiterating our willingness to hold talks with the North at any time and place in any form. We hope that the South and North can sit face to face and discuss the participation of the North Korean delegation at the Pyeongchang Games as well as other issues of mutual interest for the improvement of inter-Korean ties, he added. The Koreas, divided by a demilitarized zone since the end of the 195,053 Korean War, last held high-level talks in 2015 to try to ease tensions. Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., told reporters Washington could not take the talk seriously if they don't do something to ban all nuclear weapons in North Korea. She said we consider this to be a very reckless regime. We don't think we need a band-aid and we don't think we need to smile and take a picture. We think we need to have them stop nuclear weapons and they need to stop it now, she said, warning we will never accept a nuclear North Korea. Trump's tweet was also the latest in a series of personal insults the two leaders have traded since the U.S. president took office a year ago. Trump has mocked Kim as fat and a little rocket man. Kim, for his part has described Trump as a mentally deranged U.S. doted.